We might all be deceived. Perhaps time doesn't exist at all. The speed of light at 300,000 kilometers per second is the ultimate speed limit for information in the universe. Yet time itself, often considered in relation to light speed, has been a subject of controversy throughout history. In Newton's physics, time was defined as an absolute, uniform flow, a single, irreversible arrow moving strictly from past to future. Einstein, however, disagreed. He firmly believed that time and space are interconnected. He argued that time is not an independent entity, but is intricately woven with space, forming what we call cosmic spacetime. The description of time within the theory of relativity revolutionized human science. A series of verifications, including experiments with atomic clocks, has repeatedly proven relativity's correctness. Across disciplines, from science to philosophy and even psychology, human civilization has had to accept a startling fact. The flow of time is not constant, it can change. Einstein had long believed that time is merely an illusion, a perception created by the human brain operating under Earth's specific gravity and in relation to the speed of light. He suggested that time itself might not fundamentally exist. For instance, time near a black hole passes far more slowly than it does on Earth. As humans, we perceive our universe as a standard three-dimensional space, where we can move and observe objects along three perpendicular axes. When you add the irreversible axis of time, you get what is known as Minkowski's four-dimensional space-time. Let me use a simple animated example to help you better grasp the concept of time. Imagine a standard 3D space. We'll simplify this into a representation of space-time. First, let's restrict movement to just the X and Y axes. Then, we'll repurpose the Z axis as a visual representation of time. On this Z axis, up represents the future and down represents the past. This model gives us a 2D space, X and Y, within a 3D space time, X, Y, and time. Now, imagine a 2D person living in this space. As this person moves upward along the time axis, their age continuously increases. According to the principle of time dilation in relativity, the faster an object moves through space, the slower its time passes. If an object could reach the speed of light, time for it would stop completely. If this 2D person starts to move, changing their velocity, their personal flow of time will slow down. As their speed increases, the angle of their path through space-time deviates more and more, until, if they could reach the speed of light, their time would stop entirely. Now, let's add a second person. If both people remain stationary relative to each other, their time passes at the same rate. But, if we accelerate the person on the right to near light speed, have them travel, and then slow them down to return to their starting position, we'll find a difference in their ages. The person on the left, who stayed still, will now be older than the person on the right who traveled. This is the powerful and strange nature of time. If you're lying in bed sleeping while I'm speeding down the highway, my time is technically passing ever so slightly slower than yours. In reality, this difference is impossible to detect because, relative to the speed of light, our everyday speeds are incredibly slow. The effect of time dilation only becomes significant at relativistic speeds, meaning speeds approaching the speed of light. Of course, this time slowing down doesn't mean you would feel anything different or see the world around you in slow motion. It's not that your personal, subjective time changes. You don't live longer in an absolute sense just by moving fast. It's simply that, from the perspective of a stationary observer, your time has passed more slowly. In other words, relative to someone in a slower-moving or lower-gravity frame of reference, your clock and your aging process has run slower. That's all. This is Einstein's theory of relativity. It forces us to rethink the very nature of time and, in doing so, reveals a profound truth about our reality. A being living in a 2D world could never truly comprehend this third dimension of time. And similarly, we, living in our 3D world, may be equally unable to fully comprehend the true nature of our own dimensions or those that may lie beyond. Many scientists speculate that if higher dimensional space-time exists, then time might be like a winding river. 
a being from a higher dimension could step out of the river onto its bank and from there travel upstream to the past or downstream to the future.